question number 4 and this question is of differentiation the parametric equations of a curve are x is equal to cos theta over 2 minus sin theta and y is equal to theta plus 2 cos theta show that dy over dx is equal to 2 minus sin theta whole square For parametric equations, we will use sin. Uh, sin. First of all, uh, we will differentiate the first equation with respect to x. X is. These are the parametric equations. X is equal to cos theta over two minus. sin theta we use here uh, quotient rule quotient rule is this if y is equal to u over v where u and v are two different functions of x dy over dx will be v u dash minus u v dash over v square this is quotient rule we will use uh, in the question this rule because there are two functions cos theta in the numerator and 2 minus sin theta is in the denominator we are using this rule dx over d theta d 2 minus sin theta. Differentiation of cos theta is negative sin theta minus cos theta as such, and differentiation of 2 minus sin theta that is minus cos theta over v square mean 2 minus sin theta whole square. Now we will uh, simplify it. First. This becomes minus minus two sine theta plus sine square theta plus cos square theta over two minus sine theta whole square. Now clearly. Uh, sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. This is an important identity, so we can write here one. Sin because sin square plus cos square is equal to one, so, so this will become d x over d theta is equal to minus two sin theta plus one over two minus sin theta whole square. Uh, this is a d x over d theta. Now, in the same way, we will find we will differentiate y with respect to x. This is the other parametric equation. Y is equal to theta plus two cos theta. Y is equal to theta plus two cos theta. Differentiating with respect to theta. We get dy over d theta one minus two sine theta. Now we will use chain rule. This is chain rule. Dy over dx, dy over d theta into d theta over dx. This is chain rule. This is chain rule. We will put the value because we have to find actually dy over dx. So dy will be putting the value of dy over d theta and d theta over dx. This become dy over dx will be dy over d theta is one minus two sine theta. And 
d theta over dx. So, so we have found uh, dx over d theta. Actually, we have already found dx over d theta, which is this. So, so we will take its reciprocal. Then we can write here 2 minus sin theta whole square over minus 2 sin theta plus 1. This is cancel out. So finally, we get dy over dx is equal to 2 minus sin theta whole square. Uh, we have uh, to show the, in this. So we have shown that dy over dx is equal to 2 minus sin theta whole square. Shown. 